Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about a few things. First, how to match our mesh avatar feed to your avatar skin. And then we talk about how to re-upload mesh files faster. It's a small trick, but I want to show it to you. And then we talk about how to get the most of our uh, specular highlight maps and some other Photoshop stuff. Okay, let's start first with um, mesh avatar feed and how to match them to your skin the correct way. Um, I will use our latest product, those uh, studded platform standard, uh, sandals. Um, here is the package. Notice I have uh, color HD. I have blending socks, six of them. I have the actual shoes, of course, the shoe base and the alpha clothing. Let's wear those shoes to see them. Uh, they're completely different color with the, from the skin, so we need to work on this. Notice how I'm starting this process. I don't need the shoes or I don't need the HUD right now. The only thing I want to do now is first I want to change my uh, wind light settings to something better like ColWL. Why I'm doing this? I want to see my colors without any shadows. Full colors. Now I want to find a blending sock that is very close to my skin but it's what idea lighter. So let's try pale. It may take some time. Go here. Okay, I don't need to do this. It's very pale and it's lighter. I can work with this actually, but I want to find something closer, like this tan blending sock. Notice the blending socks are fully modifiable and you need to give them to your customers in this very way. Modifiable. No transfer, copy, but modifiable. Because they need to be able to enter to the edit mode here. Notice this sock is very close to the skin, but it's not perfect. I want to make it perfect. Right now, by default, this sock is white. I have uh, some leftovers here, but by default, this is how the sock will work and how it will look. I need to add a color in order to fit or blend this to the skin. Now I need to go here and find the color that I want to. Making changes, searching for the best color to match. Notice this portion of the Second Life color picker is where all the colors for uh, normal human skins are. You can change them, you can change the red, found some brownish, go to a little bit greener or orange, but this is the area that you need to work. You don't need to go here or here, just this is the area. Playing with those, changing the saturation, changing the hue a bit, red, green, blue, the luminance is changing this slider. When you're happy with a color, you can take it and put it right here in those watchers. I have already found a color that I find best for this specific blending sock, the tan one. Remember, this is a tan blending sock. Now, I can save this as a blending sock that will match this particular skin. I already did that, so I will go out from here and wear it. Now this skin, actually it's this skin with this sock. They match perfectly, notice. Okay, now I need to go one more time into this blending sock, edit properties, open this color picker and look at those three values. This is the red, green and blue values, values or they're called RGB. So we need to type those down very fast in my chat uh, and I can hit enter now so they are locked in my chat. I leave this and now what I need to do is to wear the actual shoes. I'm wearing the XS size because I want it to have a perfect fit. If your shape is different from those default sizes, you need to be aware of 
some sliders that needs to be perfectly aligned to match your feet, the body fat, the torso muscles, etc. You can read more in the standard sizing package. So now I know the color values for this blending here. I like it. I need to wear the color HUD. I need to change the basic skin complexion to the tan because I'm working with blending sock tan. This is my base. Now, where is this? This is the pale and this is the tan. Now, tan doesn't work perfect from the start, so I need to add additional color in order to make this perfect blending. How to do this? I will go here to this small button called RGB, click it, go back to my chat, and now I already have this color here. 194-191-168, hitting enter, please enter the desired, color is accepted. Now the color is not applied immediately, but it's here in this small preview. I need to click apply. And notice what's happening. I don't need this HUD anymore. Well, it's perfect. It's perfect fit. Once I'm happy, I can go back to my default wind light settings. Like this. And let's take a look. No seam at all. No matter how you look at it, there is no seam. Zero seam. They look like an absolutely perfect extension of your avatar. New feet with a perfect extension. So this is the basic. I can show you with different skins, but you, we will find out that practically all those colors can be found on the same area. Take a look at this. One, once more time, it's right here in this very small area of color picking. Find the color that matches your blending sock and you then apply it on the HUD and this is the entire process of recoloring the shoes, the feet actually.